This is Star Talk. I have a ton of questions from GMOs, and they are all, here's the weird thing, and I don't know, they are all addressed to you. They're saying, Bill, dear Mr. Nye, dearest Mr. Nye, why are all these people asking you about uh, GMOs? Here's, here's the thing. Okay. I wrote a book, a New York Times bestseller, Undeniable <laughs> Evolution and the Science of Creation. Yes. And in that book, I had- By the way, it's a great book. I love you, man. Yeah. Uh, by the way, in that, or the point is, or the thing of it is, in the book, I have a chapter about genetically modified organisms. Right. And at that time, when I wrote it, I said, it's always good to be cautious. It's, uh, you don't know what you're going to do to the ecosystem. Uh, but this led to uh, controversy because it turns out GMOs, in my opinion, I spent some more time. I met the, the guy who won the World Food Prize. Okay. Uh, Rob Fraley won. It's like the uh, Nobel Prize for farming, for right, agriculture. For agriculture. And he's, in my opinion, really not such a bad guy. And uh, he believes that we can raise more food than ever on less land. In other words, we have 7.2, almost 7.3 billion people on Earth today. Okay. He believes, or he's, his colleagues, believe they can raise food for 9 billion people on 2% less land. Which is great. That's a noble goal. That is yeah. a noble goal. And here's the thing that happened, uh, in my opinion. Uh, Monsanto developed something called glyphosate. Okay. Uh, or rather, uh, a salt of glyphosate. This is a way to put this uh, chemical onto soil and have it stay there pretty well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it kills everything that's green. Kills everything by inhibiting the shikimate acid pathway. So you're literally salting the earth. Yes. So. Yes. However, uh, what Rob Fraley and these several other guys who were working at Monsanto, the behated Monsanto, what they did is develop a gene that lets the shikimic acid pathway get completed in the green plant anyway. Gotcha. And this is the so-called uh, Roundup Ready soybean corn. Co cotton was the first one. Right. And here's, there's two things. So now everybody is familiar with Roundup as a weed killer. It does kill weeds. It kills any right. green plant. Any green plant. With a couple exceptions, which are quite relevant. Anyway, uh, uh, he, uh, he uh, argues that glyphosate's really not such a bad thing. Compared to all the other herbicides, glyphosate's pretty benign. Which I, I've done research now, and I've decided that's true. I've changed my mind about genetically modified foods. That's the that's the so, top so line. So it's the top line. You've changed your mind about GMOs. And so I looked into it. There's no difference between allergies among GMO eaters and mm -hmm. non-GMO eaters. There is a big difference in inputs from an agricultural standpoint. Organic farming takes a lot more water, takes a lot more tillage. Yes. It ends up actually you end up with less diversity of microbes in the soil uh -huh. with uh, modern Roundup Ready crops because you don't have to till, you don't have to turn the soil over to kill the weeds. Right. However, there is a notorious weed called pigweed, which uh -huh. is every bit as friendly as it sounds. Oh, okay. And uh, but it's is it as Aranthus delicious fan. as bacon? Actually, they used to. We people used to eat it, eat the leaves of Aranthus uh, plants. Uh huh. But now it's considered a weed because it's you have to go to a lot of trouble to get the food worth out of it. Gotcha. And it has a redundant gene now. In other words, it has evolved over the last couple decades. Okay. So that it has uh, it amplified the gene that makes the shikimic acid. And so Roundup doesn't kill it. It can't kill it. Yeah. So, so it's, you, now you have a Roundup resistant weed that's now. That's what you got. So right now they control it. The, the adverb is mechanically. They tear it up. They dig right. it up. Yeah. And these guys at the old fashioned way. That's right. These the farmers at Monsanto and Pioneer and DuPont, they all tell stories. These are seed companies. They all tell stories. When they were kids, they were farmers, they dug up weeds. Right. And it was not really the good old days. So uh, I've changed my mind about genetically modified organisms and that's why these things have come in. I okay. mean I, I but I claim, Chuck, that I went about it in a scientific fashion. This is Star Talk.